Here's the Google Nest Hub. This is the second generation. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is right out of the box, you get your power cord here. See right there. And of course this, you would plug that into the back of your hub right there. And also looking at the hub, if you look on the right hand side here, you have volume up and down. You have your mic mute or unmute here. You have like a rubber padding here. So it doesn't slide wherever you put it. And of course you get like a startup guide and some other pamphlets as well. So the first thing we gotta do is go ahead and plug it in. So we'll plug one end into here. And the other end, I'll plug this into my wall socket. All right, I just plugged it in. Now give it a second. All right, it's turning on now. So the next thing is you want to go to your Google Play Store. If you have an Android, if you have an iPhone, just go to the App Store, okay? I have an iPhone here. Anyway, just go to the App Store and you want to download Google Home. This is what the uh, the app here looks like. Looks like a little home there. So let me go ahead and tap on that right there. Now, if you don't have a Google Home account, go ahead and create one right now. It only takes a second. Now, just really quickly under my home here, you can see I have other things like set up here, okay? I got front door. That's my Nest doorbell battery. I have a kitchen speaker is my Google Home mini speaker. I have my Nest mini speaker as well. And I have my office, a security camera uh, in this room as well. So let's go ahead and set this up. So what I'm going to do is top left hand side is a plus sign right there. Let's tap on that plus sign. And then we're going to tap on setup device right on top. And from here, we're going to click on new devices right there. So for me, I have two homes. Okay. I have my, um, my home and my office, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have this one up here checked. You can see the check marks. I'm gonna go with that home right there. That's where this is gonna be installed. I'm gonna tap on next down here. Looking for devices. Nest Hub found. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next down here. We gotta scan the QR code on the hub itself. So just grab your phone, go to the QR code like that. Now it's just connecting to Nest Hub. Additional legal terms, go ahead and read through that. If you agree, tap on I agree down here. If you don't, tap on no thanks, but you won't be able to proceed. Help improve Nest Hub. This is optional, no thanks or yes, I'm in. For me, I'll just go with yes, I'm in, it's fine. Where is going to be the location of this hub, okay? Now take note, with the second generation opposed to the first generation, uh, you have a new feature, it's a sleep tracking feature. So if you want to use that, you got to put this in your bedroom, okay? So you would select bedroom, okay? For me, I don't need nothing to do with my sleep tracking because I use my uh, Fitbit watch. So for me, I'm going to just go ahead and leave mine in the kitchen here. So I'm going to tap right there on kitchen, tap on next. It, it's already connected to my home Wi-Fi network here. I'm going to tap on next down here. Okay, so while we're doing this, if you guys um, set this up, it's going to be updating here, okay? I already updated this, and I factory reset everything, and then I'm doing a video for this, for this tutorial video, how to get set up. So you will, it will be updating here. It'll take like five or ten minutes as you're doing all this, okay? So from here, it says confirm your preferences. Uh, you have voice match, and you have uh, duo calling, okay? That's up to you. I already have voice matches already on. So I'm just going to go ahead and confirm for myself down here. YouTube freemium, premium, if you want that, you can do redeem. For me, I'm gonna go with no thanks. Now, what do you wanna set up next? You can see by default, they have a few checked here. They didn't check the uh, track and improve sleep. If you if you wanna go ahead and go set that up, you just check that, okay? But for myself, I mean, I, I'm not gonna use that. Uh, control and display using just hand gestures. Okay, I'm okay with that. Customizing photo frame, you guys may wanna do that. I don't care for that and watch movies and shows. I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck that. We can always go back, you can always go back later on and reconfigure these as well, okay? I'm just gonna leave the uh, listen to music and radio right there. And I'm gonna tap on next right there. Play your favorite music. Okay, so I'm gonna tap on next down here. Select a default mu music service. So you got Spotify, Apple Music, and so on. I'm just gonna go up here just um, for YouTube music. I'm fine with that. So just make sure that's checked for myself. And then I'm gonna tap on next right there. Link radio service, I don't use that Cyrus. I'm gonna click on not now, right there. Staying in no, so that's up to you if you wanna sign up or not. For me, I'm just gonna go with no thanks. 
So we're almost done. So here's a, re a review of what we have set up. So devices, kitchen display, services. I only did the YouTube music and my Wi-Fi down here. So I'm gonna tap on next right there. Learn about the controls on your Nest Hub. You can go not now and do it later. You can do it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it really quickly now. We'll click on next there. So there's an EQ, an ambient EQ light sensor. You can go ahead and read through that. Tap on next. How to change the volume. You can also say, hey Google, increase volume. Or you have back here, you can increase the, decrease the volume by the volume rockers here on the right side. Tap on next. Mic switch, if you wanna go ahead and turn it, put it on mute, you have this button back here. And then once I put it on mute, the mic's you'll, off. you'll know because it has that little red right there. Also, it's a little red dot right here, so you know the mic is off. And if you turn it on, the light's gonna go off. The mic's back on. And she will tell you as well. And then from here, we'll go ahead and tap on next. So my kitchen display is ready. Look for the cast button in your favorite video and music apps to watch it on the big screen so we can watch uh, YouTube videos and whatnot here as well. So let me go ahead and tap on next. And I'll click on continue here. Okay, so now let me just tap on finish setup right there. I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. So you can get started, let me show you around. Now, this is a tutorial to show you how to use the hub. So I would recommend do it. It's a when you're ready, it's tap a, get it's started. It's a video um, tutorial, so I, I would recommend you doing that, okay? Or you can skip and do it later, okay? So for myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it right there. And there we go, all right? So this is all set up here. Okay, so we're all set up here. So let me show you with my uh, Google Home here, it looks like. So again, but from earlier, we have my front door, my doorbell. And under kitchen display is my uh, hub right here, okay? So let me go ahead and ring the doorbell and see if this rings and you'll be able to see me. Let me run to the front door really quickly. Someone's at the front door doorbell. Well, I hope you guys seen that. And I got an alert on my phone too, so I can see that doorbell footage right there as well. Anyway, there you guys go. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.